a country situated in a geopolitically volatile region, Israel finds itself surrounded by hostile neighbors, each potentially a missile launch away from sparking a conflict. With nations openly opposed to its existence, Israel's proximity to its adversaries has generated an ongoing threat of missile attacks. In response, the nation has developed a state-of-the-art defense shield, a powerful anti-missile system capable of operating around the clock and effectively countering high-speed missiles. This technological marvel not only safeguards its skies but also serves as a symbol of resilience and innovation. How daunting is Israel's air defense system? What are the potential consequences of Israel's latest progress in the defense of its military capabilities? Join us as we explore how Israel rigorously tests its powerful air defense system. Since Israel's independence declaration in 1948, the country has been involved in a series of conflicts and has employed various weapons to defend its borders. In the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, Israel relied on surplus World War II era arms, mainly small arms, mortars, and basic armored vehicles. In the 1956 Suez Crisis, Israel, along with France and the UK, initiated a campaign against Egypt, showcasing the Israeli Air Force's strength, operating various aircraft. British-made Centurion tanks were key to Israel's ground forces. The 1967 Six-Day War brought significant change, with Israel's victory partly attributed to French Mirage III fighter jets, ensuring air superiority. The war also featured the use of Soviet-made T-54 and T-55 tanks. The 1973 Yom Kippur War introduced advanced weaponry, including American-supplied fighter aircraft, underscoring the importance of anti-tank missiles, particularly the Soviet RPG-7 rockets in the hands of Arab forces. Fast forward to the 1990s, a tumultuous period when Hezbollah, situated in Lebanon, rained rockets into northern Israel population centers, presenting an acute and unexpected security challenge for the Israel Defense Forces. The continuous threat from these rocket attacks compelled Israeli authorities to contemplate the development of a short-range anti-missile system. However, as discussions surrounding this project unfolded, U.S. defense officials voiced valid concerns. The creation of a formidable anti-missile defense system was no small feat, raising questions about budget constraints and the substantial resources it would necessitate. In response to these challenges, Israel's Ministry of Defense embarked on an arduous journey of research and development. This endeavor was marked by tireless dedication and collaboration among experts, which eventually culminated in the blueprint for what would become the Iron Dome. This groundbreaking defense system not only represents Israel's unwavering commitment to safeguarding its citizens, but also stands as a testament to its capacity for innovation and adaptability in the face of evolving security threats. The momentum for the Iron Dome project began to build in 2004, when Brigadier General Daniel Gold assumed leadership of the Research and Development Division of the Israel Defense Forces. Gold was a staunch advocate for the anti-missile project, going so far as to circumvent Army procurement regulations to secure funding. He also played a crucial role in rallying political support for the initiative. During the 2006 Second Lebanon War, roughly 4,000 rockets fired by Hezbollah struck northern Israel, including Haifa, the nation's third largest city. This rocket barrage resulted in the deaths of 44 Israeli civilians and prompted about 250,000 Israeli residents to evacuate and relocate to other areas within the country. Approximately 1 million Israelis found themselves confined to bomb shelters or areas nearby during the conflict. In the southern region, more than 8,000 projectiles were indiscriminately launched into Israel from Gaza between 2000 and 2008, primarily by Hamas. The vast majority of these rockets were Qasims fired from 122 mm grad launchers that had been smuggled into the Gaza Strip, granting them greater range compared to other launching methods. 
This situation posed a substantial security threat to the country and its citizens, with nearly a million Israelis in the southern region falling within the rocket range. In February 2007, Defense Minister Amir Peretz chose the Iron Dome as Israel's defense solution against this short-range rocket menace. Since then, the $210 million system has been developed through the collaborative efforts of Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and the IDF. The Iron Dome, a remarkable creation of Israel's defense industry, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, is a sophisticated system engineered to detect and eliminate various aerial threats, including short-range rockets, artillery shells, and ballistic missiles. Since its initial deployment, the Iron Dome has earned a reputation for its exceptional success in intercepting incoming threats, effectively protecting Israeli civilians and vital military assets from the perils of rocket and missile attacks. Fundamentally, the primary mission of the Iron Dome is to intercept and neutralize immediate threats posed by short-range projectiles swiftly. These threats typically consist of rockets and 155mm artillery shells, with a range of up to 70 kilometers, roughly equivalent to 43 miles. What sets the Iron Dome apart is its unwavering operational effectiveness, irrespective of external conditions such as day or night, adverse weather, or the simultaneous presence of multiple threats. This adaptability and reliability underscore its significance in the field of missile defense, especially in safeguarding Israeli territories and their inhabitants. At its core is the detection and tracking radar, a fundamental component that acts as the system's vigilant eye. Collaboratively developed by ELTA, an Israeli defense company and a subsidiary of Israel Aerospace Industries and the Israel Defense Forces, this radar system has the crucial task of detecting the launch of incoming threats and continuously tracking their flight paths. It provides precise data, forming the foundation upon which the Iron Dome's interception calculations are based. The Battle Management and Weapon Control Center stands as the strategic nerve center of the Iron Dome. Crafted through the collaborative efforts of Rafael and Empressed Systems, an Israeli software company, this command hub orchestrates the system's every move. It skillfully processes the data received from the radar, meticulously evaluating the trajectory of identified threats. It is within the BMC that the precise moment for a missile launch is determined based on the imminent threat's trajectory. It is the operational brain behind the system's rapid, precise, and highly effective defense mechanism. The final piece in this puzzle is the missile firing unit, which plays a pivotal role in intercepting incoming threats. Its main responsibility is to launch the Tamir interceptor missile. The Tamir missile, crafted by Rafael, features advanced electro-optic sensors and multiple steering fins, providing exceptional maneuverability and precision. Typically, within each Iron Dome battery, you can find three to four launchers, each containing up to 20 interceptor missiles. This setup effectively showcases the system's impressive capability to manage multiple engagements simultaneously, highlighting its significance in missile defense. The effectiveness of the Iron Dome is intricately woven into its seamless operational process, demonstrating the harmonious integration of technology and coordination. The system's radar, the ELM-2084, is the ever-watchful sentinel in the skies. It continuously scans the airspace, aiming to detect the launch of incoming threats and capture crucial initial trajectory data. This data is crucial for the system's precise interception calculations. Once the radar has furnished the necessary data, the Battle Management Emmet Weapon Control Center comes into play. It processes the information received from the radar, meticulously evaluating the trajectory of the identified threat. This thorough assessment is a crucial checkpoint, determining whether the threat genuinely poses a risk to a designated area. The system triggers the launch of interceptor missiles only when a legitimate threat is confirmed. In the event of a confirmed threat, 
the Iron Dome promptly springs into action. An interceptor missile is swiftly launched to intercept and neutralize the incoming threat before it reaches its predicted impact area. The remarkable maneuverability of the Tamir missile allows for precise interception, enhancing the system's overall effectiveness. What sets the Iron Dome apart from traditional air defense missile systems is its innovative deployment pattern. In contrast to centralized systems, where all components are clustered together, the Iron Dome deploys in a decentralized manner. Each launcher operates autonomously and can be remotely managed through a secure wireless connection. This decentralized configuration gives the system enhanced flexibility and adaptability, making it exceptionally responsive to evolving threat scenarios. Remarkably, reports indicate that each Iron Dome battery can protect an urban area spanning approximately 150 square kilometers, underscoring its impressive coverage capacity. This decentralized approach aligns perfectly with the Iron Dome's core objective, to deliver comprehensive and effective protection against various evolving aerial threats. However, on October 7, 2023, Israel was caught off guard by a very large-scale missile attack by the Gaza-based Palestinian militant group Hamas. The group fired several thousand missiles at several targets across Israel, according to reports. While exact details are not available, it is clear that over 3,000 rockets penetrated the Israeli defense and killed an estimated 1,300 Israelis. In response to this attack, Israel swiftly launched a counter-offensive and formally declared war against Hamas the following day. Israel has made the strategic decision to introduce its new advanced laser defense system into the ongoing conflict. Israel's venture into laser weaponry commenced during the mid-1970s when its military specialists identified the potential of lasers to enhance their defense capabilities. Working in partnership with key Israeli defense firms, such as Israel Aerospace Industries and Rafael, they embarked on a mission to explore the practical uses of laser technology in defense. Their initial focus centered on grasping the fundamental principles of laser weaponry and exploring potential defense applications. Given their limited resources and relatively basic understanding of lasers at the time, their primary emphasis was research, resulting in the development of rudimentary prototypes. An early significant achievement was successfully testing the first gas dynamic laser in 1976, producing approximately 10 kilowatts of power. Despite the challenges and intricacies, this laid a solid foundation for future laser weapon advancements. It kept alive the vision of employing high-energy lasers in defense, serving as a source of inspiration for the Israeli defense industry. The turning point came in the 1982 Lebanon War, which introduced precision-guided munitions as a pivotal strategic asset, signifying a shift toward more advanced and precise weaponry. In the mid-1990s, Israel began its second major venture into laser weaponry. Collaborating with the U.S., Israel initiated a promising combat laser system project. The primary goal was to create a close-zone missile defense laser system employing chemical laser technology based on deuterium fluoride. The system was projected to generate up to 2 megawatts of power, sufficient for intercepting artillery shells and unguided rockets in mid-flight. In 2014, the Israeli Defense Corporation Rafael unveiled the Iron Beam, known as Karen Barzel in Hebrew, and officially labeled as Magen Or, or Light Shield, which stands as an innovative directed energy weapon air defense system. Its primary mission revolves around intercepting and neutralizing short-range threats, encompassing rockets, artillery, and mortar shells, with an impressive operational range extending up to 7 kilometers. It complements the Iron Dome, which specializes in intercepting missiles launched from greater distances. The Iron Beam's versatility also extends to countering unmanned aerial vehicles, solidifying its position as the sixth vital component within Israel's integrated missile defense system, alongside Arrow 2, Arrow 3, David Sling, and Iron Dome. 
The iron beam system employs a fiber laser to create a directed energy beam. It can operate independently or as part of a larger air defense configuration. The process entails threat identification through a surveillance system and vehicle platform tracking to initiate engagement. The distinct advantages of directed energy weapons like the iron beam over traditional missile interceptors lie in their cost efficiency, ability to fire continuously, reduced operational costs, and minimal human intervention. Additionally, they eliminate the issue of interceptor debris, mitigating the risk of debris falling into protected areas. Each interception becomes significantly more economical, costing approximately $2,000 per shot compared to the $100,000 to $150,000 per interceptor firing associated with conventional systems. In 2016, it was reported that the power levels of the iron beam's laser were in the tens of kilowatts range. Although specific details were not publicly disclosed, estimations made in 2020 suggested that the iron beam could effectively engage targets up to 7 kilometers away. It could destroy missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, and mortar shells within roughly 4 seconds of contact, employing its twin high-energy fiber-optic lasers. Looking ahead to 2023, there are expectations that energy levels may surpass 100 kilowatts, allowing the system to precisely focus its beam to the size of a coin at a distance of 10 kilometers. The development of Iron Beam was rooted in five years of research and development focused on solid-state lasers. Rafael, with primary funding from the Israeli Ministry of Defense and additional support from the United States, spearheaded the design of this system. An iron beam battery comprises elements like an air defense radar, a command and control unit, and two high-energy laser systems. Originally intended to be mobile and operate independently, it was later transformed into a non-mobile system due to concerns related to weight and power availability. This adaptation facilitated integration with the Iron Dome system, reducing overall complexity. The initial plan called for two laser guns producing 100 to 150 kilobalors of power. Israel remains deeply concerned about Iran's suspected nuclear ambitions, a matter that has led to growing tensions between these two nations. The recent unveiling of Iran's Fatah hypersonic missile has captured global attention, primarily due to its remarkable and distinctive capabilities. The Fatah missile, a two-stage solid-fueled creation of Iran, is notable for its impressive range, extending up to 1,400 kilometers and astonishing terminal velocities that range from Mach 13 to Mach 15. However, what truly sets it apart is its groundbreaking spherical engine warhead, which relies on solid fuel and features a movable nozzle. This innovative design not only enhances its speed, but also endows it with the ability to make precise maneuvers in multiple directions, ensuring effectiveness in various environmental conditions. This advanced hypersonic ballistic missile significantly surpasses the capabilities of traditional ballistic missiles. Its exceptional velocity not only extends its range, but also dramatically reduces the reaction time for potential targets and adversaries, making it a formidable addition to Iran's military arsenal. One of the missile's most notable attributes is its remarkable maneuverability. It can operate within and above the Earth's atmosphere, adapting to different atmospheric conditions and altitudes. This adaptability adds a layer of complexity for defense systems attempting to intercept it, as the missile's swift trajectory changes make it a challenging target. Iran boldly claims that this advanced hypersonic ballistic missile can breach all existing anti-missile defense systems, signifying a substantial leap in Iran's missile technology. If these capabilities hold, the Fatah hypersonic missile could pose a significant challenge to global missile defense architecture, potentially even challenging systems like the Iron Dome. The Iron Dome, designed for slower-moving threats with predictable trajectories, may face a more complex and less reliable adversary in the Agile Fatah hypersonic missile. 
This development intensifies concerns in the region, adding a new dimension to the security landscape. Israel's military prowess and technological advancements are well known, and the country's latest innovation, the advanced laser system known as the Iron Beam, has further bolstered its reputation. In April 2022, the Israeli Ministry of Defense and Rafael announced that the Iron Beam had successfully intercepted drones, rockets, mortar shells, and anti-tank missiles. This was a significant achievement, given the system's operational range, which is highly effective at shorter ranges, spanning from several hundred meters to tens of kilometers. The Iron Beam's success has come at a crucial time, given the concerns about the availability of Iron Dome projectiles for countering attacks. The urgency to deploy the Iron Beam was palpable, and Prime Minister Naftali Bennett declared in February 2022 that Israel intended to deploy the system within a year. However, in October 2022, Raphael suggested that it might take two to three years to achieve full operational deployment of the 100 kilowatts weapon. In May 2023, Raphael unveiled the Naval Iron Beam, designed for ship installation. The Naval Iron Beam emits 100 kilowatts of power over several kilometers to protect vessels from threats such as drone swarms and anti-ship missiles. The Naval version maintains the same turret dimensions and can be adapted for integration onto ship superstructures or containerized modules, enabling deployment as needed. The Naval Iron Beam is expected to become operational within four to five years and will first be equipped on the Israeli Navy's Reshef class Corvette. The Iron Beam's precision and cost efficiency in addressing close-range threats like mortar and rocket attacks are some of the most significant advancements in this system. Its short-range capabilities are particularly noteworthy given the Iron Dome's primary focus on longer distances. With Israel's ongoing conflicts with neighboring nations, the Iron Beam system's contribution to the country's military capabilities is undeniable. The Iron Beam system's cost efficiency is a significant advantage, with the cost of intercepting a target being only a few dollars, a stark departure from the Iron Dome's approximately $100,000 per interception. This substantial reduction in the cost per interception represents a technological achievement and a significant financial benefit to Israel's defense efforts. Although initial commitments to deploying the Iron Beam system were made in 2020, official confirmation of its operational status has yet to be publicly disclosed. The secrecy surrounding the program may arise from the sensitivity of laser weapon technology and its application in defense systems. Nevertheless, the anticipation for the system's full integration into Israel's missile defense capabilities remains palpable. The Iron Beam system adds substantially to Israel's layered missile defense network, complementing systems like Hetz, Cherave, Kasamim, and the Iron Dome. This layered approach ensures comprehensive coverage and adaptability to various missile threats, reflecting Israel's unwavering dedication to safeguarding its territory and its citizens. With the Iron Beam's short-range capabilities, the system provides a strategic advantage in addressing close-range threats like mortar and rocket attacks with exceptional precision and cost efficiency. The Iron Beam system's potential benefits extend beyond Israel's borders. Other countries facing similar threats from short-range projectiles could benefit from this technology. The Iron Beam system represents a significant step forward in laser-based missile defense technology and has the potential to revolutionize missile defense strategies worldwide. Thank you for watching. While you are still here, click the link on your screen to check out more of our videos. See you there.